AI nowadays is everywhere. And if you're a video editor who's not using AI tools, you're seriously putting yourself at a disadvantage. Mm. Today, I'm gonna to be going over three AI tools that you need to start using today as a video editor that will help save your time and speed up your editing workflow. My name is Evan Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. As I mentioned, today we're gonna to go over three AI tools that you need to start using today as a video editor. They're all seriously handpicked. Trust me, I researched and went through a lot of AI tools and there's a lot of bad ones out there. So these are really the top three that I picked that were really just stood out to me. And I seriously just think would just help save a lot of editors time. Before we dive into the video, I do wanna give a shout out to Wondershare Filmora for sponsoring today's video. Wondershare Filmora is a video editing application. It's completely free to use. You can download on mobile and desktop. It's super easy to use. It's, I personally recommend it as one of the best starting editing applications for any beginners or people looking to get into video editing. And on the topic of today's video, it does have a bunch of crazy AI video editing features that we'll dive a lot deeper on later on in the video. But seriously, even if Filmora wasn't sponsoring today's video, I still recommend it to a bunch of beginner video editors just because of how easy it is to use and even pro editors as well. It's super simple. It comes with a full template of pre-custom made titles, LUTs, effects, thumbnail generations, just a bunch of crazy stuff. So if you're interested, you can check out downloading Wondershare Filmora in the link in the description. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So first off, coming in at third place on today's list of AI video editing tools is going to be Color.io. Now Color.io is one of those website applications. You guessed it, it's a color grading AI tool. Absolutely insane. I'm gonna be honest, they, they really killed it with this one. It not only comes with countless presets that you can apply to your videos directly right away, but it also has an AI feature where it can detect and make adjustments to correct like skin tones, highlights, oversaturation, all that type of stuff. Even better, it even has this cool feature where you can grab scenes of like other movie clips or other videos that you like to color grade and it can like detect the color grade of that and apply it to your video which I think is just really cool and even better yet they even have a free plan which you can use on their website completely for free so no downloads no credit card information up front color.io even has the ability to create authentic film looking emulations so it can create halation bloom grain all the aspects and characteristics that create that cinematic film look that everyone's going for nowadays without further ado let's go ahead and dive into a mini tutorial on how to use it all right guys so now that we are inside a color io you can see the link is just app.color.io i've loaded up a new scene and by the way this is all in a free account mind i mentioned i haven't paid for anything yet entered no credit card information so i have two scenes right here both that were shot on my sony a7 mark III. this one is an auto and this one is in raw so let's go ahead and just customize this so first you'll see on the right hand side we have three different options we have these like presets we have these uh, color settings and then we have effects so let's start with the presets so you can see there's a bunch of crazy presets that they have loaded up that we can just basically pick and choose from there's a bunch of custom ones there's 35 millimeter film looks there's cinematic looks just a bunch of crazy stuff that you can choose from i'm gonna go ahead and settle with this spectacle one because i think this personally looks cool we have some nice little halation already going on right here which we'll dive into in just a bit so first up let's test out their generative ai feature because what they should be known for their ai uh, color grading platform i'm gonna hit generate and you can see it created four different looks that were based off the color grade that i made personally i don't like any of these so i'm just gonna go ahead and hit regenerate and okay there we go now we got some better results i'm vibing with this one so i can click more like this if i like it there we go now we got some cool results going in as you can see it was just super easy to just go ahead and drag and drop some color grade have ai do the color grading for me pick out the luts and then i can just go ahead and tweak all the little minor details i'm gonna go ahead and settle with this one right here and let's hit apply now let's go to our color and balance now you can see over here we can of course just like any other video editing or color grading software we can adjust colors we can adjust the density. I like a lot of contrast in my uh, my videos. I honestly think that looks great for the effect that we're going for. Let's go ahead and dive into our auto clip. Now on scene two right here, this was shot on my Sony a7 as well, an auto at nighttime. I'm personally a big fan of shooting on auto. I don't like manual, it's just too much work. But now thank God for color.io because I can actually add some color grading effects, drag and drop and super easy and create some cool film looks with auto footage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll through some of these presets. Personally, I gotta say I'm vibing with this Vision 350D one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click it and apply. Now let's go over to our effects and let's mess around with these film emulation effects that are going on right here. For those of you who don't know, Halation is basically when older cameras back in the cinema day, the computer, sorry, not the computer, the camera, there were no computers. The camera couldn't detect like harsh lines or 
harsh edges so like black and white so in turn it would just create this like glowing red or orange like line in between it and you can see it created some halation right here so in between this black and white of the end of this car right here there's some halation some glowing halation and what's really cool is that they give you the ability to adjust the strength of it to adjust the threshold uh the radius how much of it there is uh where it applies and stuff that looks ugly uh, let's go ahead and tone it down so i'm just gonna keep it around like 42 percent because halation is cool when it was like minor there's little very minor details of it and then moving down we have some grain as well because of course this is film so i can go ahead i'm gonna zoom in just so y'all can see it if i turn the grain up we have a lot of grain there uh, and if we turn it down we have no grain i'm gonna keep it around 40 percent as well because i think that's pretty good it lets you adjust the size the chroma as well just other cool stuff and then lastly there's like a vignette which i'm not a big fan of vignettes but but if you like vignettes i respect it go for it anyways with that said here's the final result you can see the before and after looks absolutely insane and with our other scene before and after that is crazy just that fact that this was done on a website application using ai insane let's go ahead and move on to our number two ai video editing tool coming in at our number two place is going to be firecut ai now firecut ai is an exclusive extension for premiere pro under adobe so if you're working on davinci or final cut it won't necessarily apply to you but i do believe that they have plans to expand to other video editing applications i have to say that firecut ai is perfect for any content creators who are using premiere pro it has a bunch of crazy features that allow you to cut out silences detect captions add zoom in add chapter markers and just a bunch of more cool features that all involve AI. I'd say that Firecut AI is perfect for any video editors who are content creators or making like long form YouTube videos, specifically for like the videos on my channel. So it works out perfectly for me. For example, in my videos, I have a lot of areas where I take pauses or repeat myself just to get the right take. And Firecut AI is perfect for that because it's able to detect like repeated segments, it's able to detect long pauses and just completely cut them and remove them. Saves me so much time while editing, saves my editor so much time while editing. Overall, just huge time saver and it's great for content. It also has the option to create captions and like short form type captions that you've seen in all those like reels or those re-uploads of like clips of podcasts or interviews and stuff like that. Really cool features and just adds animations, cool stuff. And also zooms, by the way, I forgot that mention. In long form videos, you wanna have like zoom ins and zoom outs. I'm probably doing it right now just to show you, but it's able to detect the emphasized words and then add zoom in and zoom out frames. Really cool. Let's go ahead and dive into a mini tutorial on how to use it. All right guys, so now that we're inside of Premiere Pro, I'm actually gonna be editing one of my YouTube videos because I think this works perfect for this scenario, which by the way, if you're interested, you can check out downloading Firecut, the link in the description, but to access it, you're gonna go to your window, you're gonna hit extensions and it should be right there after you've downloaded it. Firecut right here, you're gonna see we have this new pop-up window and there's just a bunch of crazy options. We have remove silences, remove filler words, add zooms, remove repetition, just a bunch of crazy, super useful tools, especially for content creators like myself. So you're gonna see in this video right here, there is a lot of pauses going on. There's a lot of repeats, there's a lot of mess ups. So I'm just gonna go ahead and isolate a quick little section so we can do a demo. So first off, let's test off this remove silences feature. Firecut allows you to remove the silences. I can click on it and then I can adjust the settings of how much I want it to go crazy on removing the silences. So a loose cut or a very tight cut. I'm gonna move a little bit more towards tight cut because it's all about saving time when you're making YouTube videos. We're gonna go ahead and hit the in and out points because I only wanted to analyze this section right here. And then let's just do MP3 wave and under 10 minutes and let's hit go. My hands are off the keyboard and let's go ahead, watch this. I want y'all to watch this. I want y'all to watch this. Look at that go, look at that go. My hands are off, bro. My hands are off the keyboard. It edited all that for me in like under, under a minute, I have to say. And you can see now all the silences are gone. It made its own cuts. It already detected where I was talking, where I was not talking. I think that is insane if you ask me. That saves me so much time. It's ridiculous. Look at silence cut 10.6 seconds saved. It even tells you how many seconds you save, which I think is really cool. Let's go ahead and go back and test another one. Now they have an add zoom feature right here, which basically means like you can zoom in and out, especially if you're making YouTube videos, you like to have these emphasized zooms. So I can adjust this to exactly how much I want to zoom in. Uh, and then let's do like very high frequency because I want a lot of zoom in and out the in and out points and let's go it's gonna load my hands are off the keyboard my hands are off the keyboard y'all are seeing this in real time right now all right all right y'all see that y'all see that 
that that was all my hands are off it added a bunch of adjustment layers with zoom ins especially when i make like emphasize remarks or facial expressions i think that is honestly insane the fact that it just edited this entirely for me it's like having a, an assistant video editor but all ai there's even a couple more sections which allow you to find b-roll and clips especially if you're like a videographer and you have to make like highlight reels and you have some clips that are just like oh i need b-roll from this it allows you to just pull b-roll from it allows you to add captions which i tested pretty similar to premiere pro being 100 percent honest but still the fact that they have it is really cool and then also they have a section where they can you can add chapters so let's see i can add chapters let's test this one out and i can detect chapters um, of just what is being spoken and what's going on in the different parts of the video so first it's just going to transcribe my audio and then it's going to create some chapters so you can see boom there you go we have a bunch of different chapters now that were added and i can hit add markers now and you can see look at that that is crazy i can zoom in now and this tells me this part is the introduction this part is about mixed media this part is about the materials needed and this part is about achieving the authentic look now for this tutorial i think i was making like a mixed media effect coming out soon you can check it out but um it's still pretty accurate and the fact that it did this in under like a minute saves me so much time really props to firecut ai so you can already see they're doing crazy stuff right here. This plugin is definitely absolutely worth it, especially if you're editing on Premiere Pro. Right now we're on their website. As I mentioned before, it's not free, but it is very fairly priced. I'm being honest, look at $11 a month to get just basic silence cutting and access to their Discord community. I think that's seriously a deal. And then if you wanna just go to $24 a month, you get pretty much everything going on right here that we have access to. Super insane. Shout out to Firecut AI for sending it our way. What's it, wait, let's go ahead and move on to our third and final AI tool. And now the moment you all been waiting for the number one AI tool that you need to be using today to help speed up your editing workflow has to be drum roll, Wondershare Filmora. Now, wait, wait, before y'all leave, hear me out, dude, this application, I'm not even joking, is like actually ridiculously impressive. And the reason being so is because every single feature that we've mentioned in the past few plugins, applications, AI tools are all built inside of Wondershare Filmora's video editing application, which I think is just truly amazing and has saved so much time, especially because you don't have to go to other extensions, other websites, or they're like outside parties to go get these effects and then bring them back into your editing software. They're all built inside of Wondershare Filmora. And the best part is it's free. Yeah, you heard me, Wondershare Filmora is completely for free to download. You can use it on your mobile phone, you can use it on desktop. We're gonna go ahead and dive into a mini tutorial on how to use it right now, but there's three main features that we're gonna be going over and that's gonna be AI text to video generation and text-based video editing. Also has an AI script generator, which is basically chat GPT, but it's still a cool feature that I have. And now quick disclaimer, I'm not just gassing up and glazing Wondershare Filmora because obviously they did not create all of these features, but I think what's really cool is the fact that they're all built inside of one video editing application, which is what all these other past AI tools lack. So that's why it's coming at our number one place. Let's go ahead and dive into this mini tutorial on how to use it. All right, guys, last but not least, we're here with the beast itself, Wondershare Filmora. Now already off the bat, you can see in their load-in screen right here, we have a bunch of crazy new features that we can use that are, uh, a lot of them use AI. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and first start off, which is a very simple one, which is the text to video. Now, this is a tool that Filmora didn't create specifically, but they do have it built into their editing application, which Premiere Pro doesn't, After Effects doesn't, DaVinci doesn't, so they're really already ahead of the game. Let's go ahead and generate an image of like large crowd at concert having fun music festival. And then I can go ahead and select the voices that I want to, uh, to talk over it. And then let's go ahead and generate this video. Now AI is gonna think for a bit and boom, there we go. Look at, it's created a large concert having fun um, at the crowd. And you can see, and if we turn up the audio, you can hear the lady talking. Music festival, large crowd at concert having fun music festival. That is crazy. I'm satisfied with this result. And it added music We're and a voiceover and captions, which I think are really cool. All built inside of Filmora. Let's go ahead and move on to their next feature. They also have this AI stylizer, which once again, Wondershare Filmora didn't create or invent, but they still have it built into their editing application. This one is basically one which allows you to use AI filters and it creates this like stylized look. And look at that, boom. That looks pretty sick if you ask me. This reminds me, I tried to do this like Spider-Verse effect look back in like 2023 and I had to use a bunch of AI stylizers, but I had to go to outside websites, download them, move them back to Premiere Pro. It was just a bunch of hazard. If you wanna check out that reel, you can check it out here. But the fact that Filmora has this built inside of their editing application is insane. 
And now last but not least, let's go ahead and move on to their AI text-based video editing, which I personally think is one of their most impressive features. Now this one basically allows you to analyze videos. It will not only create a caption transcript for it, but it will also allow you to remove silences and remove repeats and words that you just don't want in your video. So it allows you to basically do editing before it even touches the timeline, which I personally think is really helpful and saves you a bunch of time. All right, so boom, there we go. I have this reel that I made a couple of days ago and you can see it detects silences right here with the dots. I already edited this reel, so there's not a lot of silences in here, but what I can do is I can just go ahead and hit the bracket dot, dot, dot and bracket. And you can see, I can just delete all the silences in the video. Saves me so much time. Boom, let's go ahead and delete them. Boom, there you go. You see, I already edited the video. It has captions I can add for me. And the reason why I chose this reel is because I already made captions on it. So you can see it's like fact checking with the captions that I already made for it. And yeah, it's pretty accurate if you ask me. We can delete any words that I want. So let's say if I wanted to delete like all the ands in this entire video, I can just do that. I think that's crazy and super useful. And then we can just go ahead and hit export to timeline and boom, there we go. We have a caption track and we have the fully edited video with all the silences removed. So with that, shout out to Wondershare Filmora for sponsoring again, super dope AI tools. And last but not least, might I mention Wondershare Filmora has a bunch of AI stock images that you can use from their library. You can generate images, but they also have their own media library. So you can get title cards on here, all custom made by Filmora. You can just download them and drag and drop onto your video, which by the way, if you're interested in getting some more title cards, we have a bunch of crazy title packs at our store, 11% net so if you're interested in checking those out you can get them at the link in the description we also have a bunch of other crazy presets which you can use save yourself some time as a video editor seriously treat yourself take care of yourself but with that guys here are the final results of some of the videos that we made using today's ai video editing tools If you guys made it to the end of the video, I just want to say thank you again so much for watching. If you managed to find any help or value from this video, please be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. It's free, all this content is free. And of course, if you're interested in downloading or checking out any of the AI tools mentioned in today's video, you can check them out in the links in the description. Also, if you're interested in checking out those title preset packs that we mentioned earlier from our store, 11percent.net, you can check them out in the link in the description. We have a bunch of crazy video editing templates at our store. And no, they're actually not AI generated. They're made by me, handmade, pure human work and effort. No slander to the AI, but I did put a lot of work into them. So if you'd like to check them out and really mean the world to me, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts and comments. So please be sure to leave a comment down below of which AI tool you like the best, or if you have any suggestions of any AI tools that I might've missed. Also, let me know which tutorial you'd like to see from us next. And I'll make sure to reply to that as fast as I can. Once again, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.